Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara, and today I am in Wilmington, North Carolina, which is a little town on the coast of North Carolina, kind of on the southern side. We decided to do a little four day vacation here, so I thought I'd take you along with us as we explore, as we've actually never been here before, surprisingly. We've lived in Raleigh for three and a half years, in Asheville now for over two years, and we actually haven't been to the coast yet, so this will be pretty interesting. Real quick, before we head out to breakfast, I wanna give you a little tour of our Airbnb because it's quite cute. So we are in a 1940s renovated garage apartment. So our entrance is down there, and as you can see, it's called the Palm Tree House. So right as you walk in, I'll show you as if you walked in. You have the kitchen, there's Ian. <laughs> kitchen here, that door leads out to the patio, which I'll show you briefly. But first, let's go this way. So living room over here, little workstation. And they actually just renovated this too, so they popped up the ceiling and added kind of the wood um, ceiling up there and really opened up the space. So super cozy. And this place is all to ourselves. So the owners actually live in a house in the front yard and we're kind of in the backyard. But the whole unit here is private. Bathroom here. And then the bedroom. And this is cool too. The owner actually created this headboard himself which I think is neat, kind of the nautical touch. And then this looks out onto the backyard, which I'll walk out onto the patio briefly and show you a bit of that. So this is nice and super private. So up here we have a little balcony, little area to eat down there. They actually have chickens. And then a little Zen garden. So that's our little tour of the palm tree house. And now we're going to head out and get some breakfast. We're going to go to a place that serves crepes. It's crepes and more or something like that. Something, we'll show you. <laughs> we're gonna go there, probably go to the Arboretum, which is free, wander around downtown a bit. Um, yeah, maybe go to the beach later tonight. So we'll take you along with us. We finished up breakfast at our crepes and more. That place was pretty busy, but it is a Saturday morning, so I kind of expected that. Food was pretty good. I got a build your own savory crepe and Ian did the same, and then we did a sweet crepe as well to share. So yeah, it was quite good. There was a line when we went in, but our food was served pretty quickly, which was good. Um, yeah, now we decided to head over to the Arboretum, which is actually a little free place here that our Airbnb host had recommended. So it's not super big, not as big as like the Asheville Arboretum or anything, um, but it's free and it's, yeah, it's a beautiful day to be outside. It was supposed to rain a lot this trip, but it's, as you can see, a nice sunny day. So we're gonna wander around here a little bit and see what kind of plants we can find. Well, it's only beginning of May. What did the sign say? They're talking about bringing in things that eat pests. Oh, nice. Frogs, ladybugs, apparently assassin bugs, huh. and spiders. So, and I've seen these guys crawling around, but I didn't know that they were the larva for ladybugs. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh, that's cool. They look totally different. I've definitely seen them, but yeah, I didn't know that either. Gonna go check out the native plant garden. We'll see what's similar to what we have in Asheville and what might be different. Oh, okay, so there probably wouldn't be what's in Asheville because, yeah, the line is really just the eastern part. It's hard to see, but it's like the orange part. There we go. Ground cover flocks has a quite interesting uh, 
Latin name, Phlox nivalis, Eco flirty eyes. I really do wonder how that came about. They're trying to like, make gardening interesting to the youth. Eco flirty eyes. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then there's here. I'll show hearts you guys hearts. Hearts of Boston. That's just. We saw this actually. This is the one plant we've seen um, in Lake Lore near Asheville on the Garden Bridge. Hearts of Boston. The reason it's called that is because there are some flowers that look like hearts exploding. Here's some carnivorous plants, Venus flytrap, and then pitcher plants too. All of you Mario enthusiasts will enjoy this. <laughs> I remember growing up I actually had a flytrap and I would feed it ants. It didn't live very long. For whatever reason, I would feed it ants and then whatever leaf I fed it to, it wouldn't open up again. And then it would just wither and die. So, I don't know. Maybe I fed it the wrong ant? <laughs> like that doesn't make sense though. When one trigger hair is touched twice, or two are touched. Okay, the then it closes. closes. Got it, okay. We were just reading that Venus flytraps are native to this area, and there's actually a free carnivorous garden that has all of these pitcher plants and Venus flytraps around here too. Look at this little guy we just found. Aww. He did not consent to be filmed. No, he He's did not. Turning away. He did not consent to be filmed. He decided to go hide in his shell. He's not very interested in me. Found this little Japanese Zen house. Oh, there you are. This is cozy. Mm -hmm. It's like a little meditation room. I'm now added a new want item to our never ending wants list for our future house. <laughs> I decided that it would be really cool to have a space like this for like yoga and meditation and have like a garden outside. Really just this basically in our future garden. Just a little window seat. Yeah, really nice. Bishop's weed is what the uh, people in the church smoke to get high. <laughs> Bishop's weed, nice. Yeah. There it is. Tarragono Mexicano. Really? Mexican Tarragon. <laughs> I'm just making that. Oh. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Comfrey. Stevia. Huh. Interesting. Look at all these guys. <laughs> we were just reading this sign about the koi, and it says, when the fish food feeder is empty, the koi have eaten all they need for the day. I'm trying to eat my finger. Aww. <laughs> so let's see. Looks like the fish food feeder is empty. <laughs> Yet yeah, it... You hear that sucking sound? Apparently that's them sucking on water and plants and things.
this adorable little guy we just found. Oh, a little baby turtle. Hi there, little guy. For reference, here's my hand. Yeah, that's how big he is. There's Ian's hand and there he is. Look at him. We just came back to the Airbnb for a little bit. After going to the Arboretum, we went to Drift, which is a little cafe. I wanna say there's there's definitely three locations, maybe even four around the Wilmington, Wrightsville Beach area. And we went to the one that was kind of in the middle between those two, and it was super, super delicious. The food was really healthy, really clean. As you saw, I got, actually we both got, I think it was the Harvest Bowl and that had kale, roasted Brussels sprouts, carrots, sweet potato, apple, goat cheese, um, pumpkin seeds, and then like a nice light dressing. And then the tea that I got here, this one, this tea is honeysuckle and it's honeysuckle with homemade vanilla and I think honey in there. So that was really delicious as well. And now we just came back to the Airbnb for a bit, probably going to just hang out, watch a bit of TV, and then head downtown uh, later on this afternoon. Because we're just a bit tired and we've been in the sun a lot today. So just going to hang out now, head downtown later, and then maybe go to the beach tonight for a bit after dinner. I'm not sure, but we'll definitely be going tomorrow. So I'll show you a little bit of what that's like. And we did go last night, actually. We ate on the ocean and then um, walked around the beach during sunset time and it was just beautiful. I didn't actually bring my camera, so I'll insert some pictures from when we went, but it was really, really nice. We got there just as the sun was setting and they had um, an area of the park we went to kind of blocked off for some birds that were nesting. I know there were skimmers there mainly. I'm not sure if there were other types of birds, but basically like turn, they're kind of like turns. Uh, so that was really neat and just a really beautiful evening there. So we'll meet up with you when we head downtown. Hey everyone. So the last clip that you saw, I mentioned that we were going to go downtown after hanging out at the Airbnb for a little bit, but I ended up having a really bad headache that just got worse into the afternoon. So we didn't really do much at all yesterday. We just hung out at the Airbnb. So today it's now Sunday and we are at the beach. It's a bit later than we wanted. It's like 10:40, um, So it's pretty warm already. I think the high today is like 80 something. Yeah. It's like around 80, but a little bit above, but the sun is definitely out. And we'll probably only spend like an hour, maybe two here, and then we'll have to go get lunch. Um, but yeah, we came to Cure Beach, which we haven't been to before. The beach we went to Friday night was uh, Wrightsville Beach. Yeah. So this is a new one for us. A good thing to note that around here, everywhere, you have to pay to go to the beach. So it's $5 an hour during the season, which is March through October. It's $5 an hour. Um, so that's good to know. Me coming from Florida, I'm not used to that. In Florida, you just go to the beach and it's free. So it's a bit unusual, but it is what it is. So yeah, we're gonna go take a look at the beach and then get some lunch and probably go downtown later. And yeah, should be a, should be a good day. Yep.
All right, we finished up lunch at the Ocean Grill and Tiki Bar. I would really recommend that place. Their food was delicious and they have indoor and outdoor seating. We thankfully found a spot in the shade outside and had a really nice view of the dunes and also the ocean. I got a crab cake sandwich with delicious fries and the crab cake sandwich actually had real crab like a lot of it, not just like a breaded crab cake, so that was really tasty. And then Ian got the blackened fish tacos, and those were really good too. So definitely recommend that place. So we're now at the point, which is Buchanan Battery Park, and it's not really a place, I don't think, where you would like swim or anything, but it's just really interesting to look at, and I'll walk you around, but yeah, just kind of sort of dunes, sort of like sandy hills, and yeah, just an interesting view. So I'll go show you what it's like. Check out this tree. Oh nice. So we just walked to the top. As you can see, there's actually a little area down there where you can put your boat in the water if you want. And then there's a trail there that goes out to the pool. Well, after the beach, we went to downtown Wilmington and wandered around some of the shops down there. It was really pretty along the water, but we didn't spend a whole lot of time there because we've spent most of the day in the sun. So after that, we just came back to our Airbnb and have just been kind of hanging out here for a little bit. And now we're going to head to dinner to a place called Indochine or Indochine. Not sure how to pronounce it, but it's supposed to be an amazing, authentic Asian place, like Indonesian and I don't know, Chinese, Japanese, I'm not totally sure, but their food looks amazing and they're really highly rated. They're supposed to be one of the best restaurants in the Wilmington area. So we're gonna head over there and the atmosphere looks really cool too. So I'll show you a bit of that. And then we'll probably go for a little nighttime walk along the beach and call it a day. So let's head out to dinner. As you can see, it's the next day again, and after dinner last night, we did 
did try to go for a walk on the beach at night, but it was just really windy and kind of cold and the moon wasn't even out, so it was hard to see anything and just not really what I was thinking for a walk on the beach, so we ended up just going home. We walked for like five minutes or something and then just turned around. Um, went back to the Airbnb and then today we're just spending a little bit of time at the beach before we have to head out and drive back to Asheville. So yeah, it's been a really good trip. I feel like there's a decent amount to do in Wilmington. Um, the highlight is definitely the beach. We didn't spend a whole lot of time downtown, but it does seem to be, you know, cute little town, but I'd say Definitely come here if you're looking for a really good beach, really beautiful. Where we are right now is um, Wrightsville Beach, and we just parked at one of the multiple areas for street parking, where you, uh, basically it's in a residential neighborhood, and there's just like little tiny access points. It's really beautiful, just spending the morning on the beach. We went to Drift Cafe again, and I got a, really delicious smoothie. It was like a salted caramel flavor. It's banana, coconut water, almond butter, and what was the other thing? Maple. And then Ian got like an egg breakfast bowl kind of thing. So hopefully you can hear me. It's pretty windy out here, but just wanted to do a little outro for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button as well and share this video with your family and friends. All right, everyone, I'll see you very soon in the